going to be. Tom, have you become cynical about the weather? I think the ozone's leaving us, and it's going to be up to about 300 by October. We're all going to die. I think we're kind of doing a nutty lack of ozone thing. Yeah, I just you hate to see trouble. those weather cynics. <laughs> <laughs> I hate to see that get started. Now, like, Christy, don't don't run off mad. Okay, we're gonna. I'm, not, I'm gonna. Right I'm gonna throw Warren out of here because I. Well, I just I, Dicky Dick. I just wanted to announce that Larry Edwards won at the contest we just had. What was the I contest? Didn't, I didn't mean to interrupt in your program because it's not a very manly thing to do to interrupt someone like an ex-president. That's true. We did a little trivia thing, and yeah, Larry huh? Edwards knew that. Mike Reed, the former big old hunk that was the defensive tackle for the Cincinnati Bengals, uh, left the NFL not to do the usual thing, which is, I think, hang out at bars and say, I used to play at the NFL. Oh, I think my championship ring's underneath the bar here. <laughs> the thing you like to play, Dicky Dick. Uh, but he left to become one of my favorite professions. And what was that? A pianist. <laughs> and uh, Piano player. Mm -hmm. yeah. Piano player. And uh, write songs, country songs, and things like that. He's so, a great performer. Larry won a... Mike Reed is a uh, terrific is performer. He? Yeah. yeah, he's also he's big enough to beat the hell out of Not you. Not anymore. like a show. Not anymore. He's, uh, he's slimmed down? Whoa, Tommy yeah, Tommy? way down. Well, we miss you, Mike Reed, wherever you are. And Larry Edwards won the big thing from the Shane Company. Dicky Dick, I'll just be on my way. You know, Warren, I just wanted to say that before you go on your way... Yes. You know why you don't see Dracula around anymore? The Count? Yeah, Count Dracula the I Vampire. Do. You know why you don't see him around much no. anymore? About a year and a half ago, they saw him uh, nibbling on Liberace. I miss that lead. This is the uh, Dick's Picks Billboard segment of our program. Lee, if you're listening. <laughs> and, uh, Today we're going to talk about all the great things there are to do in central Indiana over the weekend. Okay, okay. There, are, there are a lot of things, lot of things going, going on. on. A lot of great things going on, yeah. And that'll be the. T we're actually going to talk about things to do. Mm hmm. Yeah. We need some sports picks. We have that exhibition football game. I know picking exhibition football isn't real exciting, but. Well, you know, it's interesting. Uh, now, this is, this is something maybe, uh, Warren, you know a lot about sports. Why would this be? Why would the exhibition game, which I apparently sold out, is that correct? Uh, as far as I know, I have yes. no idea. There may be tickets available, so call okay. up the Hoosier Dome box office. Yeah, and I wouldn't want to dissuade people from attempting to get tickets, but it's going to be tape delayed on Channel 13? Uh, it is. The game is Saturday, and they're apparently going to show the game on It must Sunday. not be sold out then, huh? It must be it then. Okay. It must not be sold out because they would be showing it live otherwise. And plus, I just wanted to point out to you guys, if you ever want to listen to the games on the radio, and, you know, we don't want to, like, get listeners away from FBQ, mm -hmm. Q95, but that nutty Jerry Baker's doing the color. Is he? he That's right. Is Ed the Harding's best. gone, isn't he? When he's got those golf slacks on, and, oh, jeez. Mm -hmm. That man just makes a shiver go up and down my spine. Dick, did you say Jerry Baker is doing <laughs> the color? Yeah, and apparently, doesn't he have? Does, isn't he real fearful of flying? Yes. Yes. So that'd be real interesting on the away games, won't it? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I think he knows that if he lands, if they crash, and, and Bob Lamey's sitting in the next seat, that uh, it's kind of an airbag thing. <laughs> <laughs> Bob Lamey, a.k.a. the... Uh, and, of course, they the crash, stay if, if, they, if they crash in the mountains of Peru, he can probably go for probably three, four months. <laughs> Bob, Bob Lamey is like a Peruvian smorgasbord. <laughs> <laughs> it's all you can eat and then some. Pass the A1. <laughs> God, you. I'm glad they found that case of barbecue yeah, sauce. This would too. be really ugly. Uh, so I guess we'll review that and more when mm. we come back with that fabulous sports show, Dick's Picks. This weekend, Highland Superstores is having the sales so big with soda going for straight, straight in 88. 1004 WFBQ, WNDE, Indianapolis. Good morning. Here with Bob and Tom. Time now for that fabulous sports show. Once again, Dick's Picks. Ladies and gentlemen, the former president of the United States, Dick Nixon, with that fabulous sports show, Dick's Picks. Excuse me while I whip this out. <laughs> Great. Thank you so much, Don Pardo. Good morning, Bob. Good morning, Tom. Dick. Good morning to you, Good morning, you, Your Highness. Good morning, Mr. President. And good morning to you, my fine Korean housewife, Haji. Good morning, Mr. Nixon. I had kind of a tearful reunion my ex-girlfriend last night. Really? Chumi? Yeah. No, Chumi. Brandy. Brandy Sniffer. Oh, Brandy Sniffer. Yeah. 
She's a stripper. A tearful or cheerful reunion? Well, it's kind of cheerful and tearful and painful, too. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Well, they had to get the jaws of life. But <laughs> I'm not going to say anymore. But okay. Is that where you two locked in an embrace in the back seat, then released the emergency brake? Kind of. That's the best. Mm -hmm. And you roll over the cliff. <laughs> it's like, did the world move for you? Yes, but my legs are trapped. <laughs> I, I love it when we can work the jaws of life into the show. There's know? so much good jaws of life material. Mm -hmm. You know, fellas, uh, this is going to just be a huge weekend. And before we get into that all-important sponsorship, let's talk about some of the great things that are going on in central Indiana. All right. Okay. Of course, we have our Marion County Fair. It's going on now through the weekend. Right. Mm -hmm. And I um, just want to tell you, too, that the Lions Club Fish Fry is in Ladoga today and Saturday starting at 5 p.m. in the park. I've got something, too. What, Hudson? Announcement. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Oh, no, go ahead. Oh, I thought you were just kind of doing... Something. No, I was just trying to set up some nutty comedy that I had just written. <laughs> okay. The, it was like the first funny line that I'd written in some time, but... No, no. No, I was just, just going to say that the Lions Club Fish Fry, it used to be the Fish Club Lion Fry until that one guy got seriously injured. And I, <laughs> but never mind, go ahead. The Kiwanis Club is having a yogurt festival. Fresh and Yogurt is the first annual yogurt festival today. It's from 11 to 2 and from 4 to 7 in front of the Radisson Hotel. And the money goes to Riley Hospital for Children and the uh, Trauma Center. Okay. Oh, that's nice. That's yogurt. Excellent. Nothing like... Also, nice don't forget the yogurt egg. on a 100 degree day, I always say. Well, or small curd cottage cheese, whichever comes first. <laughs> <laughs> is, this, is this frozen yogurt? I don't know. I would assume it is. It better be. <laughs> and how about that uh, Gas City Bean Fest now through the weekend? <laughs> You know, uh, Debbie, Debbie Boone. <laughs> Debbie Boone, of course. Uh, be sleeping on the ceiling tonight. <laughs> Debbie opening up the ceremonies. You know what she'll be singing. What? What? You light up my. Mm. <laughs> hey, she got something. Mm. You know, fellas, too, there's going to be a Sherlock Holmes Film Festival Saturday in room 108 of the School of Nursing building at IUPUI. Now, I'm not sure if you've ever been to a Sherlock Holmes Film Festival. Never. Not only is it exciting, or, or is it boring, but it's. Uh, <laughs> it's uh, it's real fun to go there and just shout out the endings to these films. <laughs> uh, that's what I like to do. I've been escorted out of more Sherlock Holmes film festivals, and I can tell you. Well, what's yeah. the connection between Sherlock Holmes and nursing? That's what I want to well, know. Well, because they're showing that film, Sherlock Holmes' Longer Brother. Yeah. You heard of Sherlock Holmes' Smarter Brother? Yes. This is a different one. Okay. Yeah. Also, uh, Tara Holt sponsors a Japanese film series. You know, to me, Tara Holt is really is a hotbed of Japanese culture. Uh, that'll be Saturday and Sunday at 1.30 p.m. at the Sheldon Swope Art Museum. And it's real interesting, the Sheldon Swope Art Museum in Tara Holt uh, burned down about five years ago. I'm not sure if you knew this. No, I did Some of the paintings had not had all their numbers colored in. And uh, it was quite a shame. I just said they were cleaning the carpets when the, mm -hmm. oh, and, oh, the janitor's the, pipe. Ignited. Oh, this is real interesting, yes. <laughs> the film is called Gate of Hell, and it's free, and it should be. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Japanese film. Ah, oh, Gate of Hell. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Other things going on this weekend, of course, include exhibition NFL football. Yes. Featuring Colts, the Green Indianapolis Bay. Colts, welcoming the Green Bay Packers to our own Hoosier Dome. Mm -hmm. Do you remember uh, back, oh, you know, it's just so, we're just really lucky that Green Bay was known as like a, you know, Packers of, I think, fish products, as opposed to like, you know, that, well, you one, know, that one place that was across, the fudge capital. Yeah, though. the Mackinac Island. Can you imagine if Mackinac Island had gotten the franchise? Mm -hmm. Would have been the fudge, fudge Packers. Packers. <laughs> oh, man. That would have been rough, wouldn't it? <laughs> no, nobody would want to play center. <laughs> Especially during exhibition. <laughs> you show up. Right. Mm -hmm. Also, there's going to be a great uh, aerobics uh, uh, demonstration at the L.A. Connection in Carmel, 116th and Rangeline. Uh, Saturday, it's the Fit Tour 88 for Healthy Hearts. And it uh, features Brenda Dycroft, who's uh, quite a little saucy yeah. vixen. See, I would go there under the premise of trying to, wanting to learn about aerobics. Uh, Brenda, could you touch your toes one more time? I'm not really sure I saw <laughs> that move. And, you know, it is important Dick. to perform uh, aerobics correctly. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. Yeah, very important. Mm -hmm. so, well, so call so call LA Connection for times. Okay. Do, do it That'd with be you love, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, um, Haji? Yeah. I what think the polar bears will be mating at the zoo this weekend. So, you know, it's really... <laughs> You got so many good things going on. <laughs> and boy, is that something to say. You bet. I don't think polar bears do much mating when it's this warm, do they? They don't. I wouldn't think they'd want to unless they can do it in refrigerated comfort. You know, they call up Domino's and set up for ice cubes. That's how those nutty polar bears are. <laughs> yeah, have you ever gotten the ice cube pizza from Domino's? No, never have. No, no I, ne I never have either. But the polar bears, too? 
Yeah. Well, Pop. if it doesn't get there in 30 minutes, it'll be melted. That's it's pretty, right. pretty watered down when you get it, I'd imagine. Oh, yeah. You know, one thing I like to do is uh, order a Domino's pizza on my cellular phone. Just tell them I'm circling 465. <laughs> Catch me. It is tough. Believe me. Mm -hmm. um, Haji? Yeah. What's right. in your, what is that in your right hand? The helium balloon. Why? A helium balloon. I thought I'd do the Browns commercial on helium. You did. Well, I, I think that would be good if he did it on here. I think it would be a wacky comedy project. Well, I mean, you know, <laughs> people are sitting there listening and go, let him do it, let him do it. All right. That's fun. That's the best. For you, Dick, Hodge. is this a sponsored sports cast? Uh, yes, it is. It's sponsored by Brown Sporting Goods. <laughs> Brown's gigantic back to school sale will be going strong through this weekend, but it ends Monday. Brown still has great prices on even greater selection of back to school footwear. Okay, oh, smokes, you must hurry because at these prices they're gonna go fast. Here's the deal. Nike Delta Force High Top Leather Basketball Shoe was 50 bucks, now 34.99. The Avia 822 Basketball High Top was 50 bucks, now 39.99. The Nike Air Assault Get this. Was seventy five bucks now it's fifty nine ninety nine. What a deal. What a deal. <sighs> Can't beat it with a stick, can you? <laughs> Brown says over 40 styles of footwear on sale through Monday. Men's and ladies high tops and lows, basketball, tennis, running and cross training, and more. Get there soon. Brown's is in Castleton on 86th Street and in the Speedway Shopping Center. <laughs> Remember not to try this at home. Remember, we've got a W in our name, Brown, so I'm passing out. It's an oxygen deprivation thing. No, you're not passing out. Being goofy. Oh. You're being punched out. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice, Browns. too, because if you get enough of that helium in your bloodstream, you don't feel the punch near as bad. No, mm -hmm. you don't. <clears throat> no, you really don't. You know, there's also some uh, big musical events uh, coming to town uh, mm -hmm. this weekend. Yes. Mm. Tonight, Robert Palmer. Robert Palmer. Tomorrow night, yeah. Neil Young. And yeah. then this note's for you, Tour. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's going to be a great show. That should be really cool. Yeah. Both shows should be excellent. And as Tom pointed out, even though it's been a little bit hot during the day, the Sports and Music Center is still a great place because it's usually, you know, it's usually breezy and there's a lot of trees around in the area, so it's real nice. Also, Paul Anka is going to be... Um, do you think Paul Anka wears a hat in every photograph you see of him because he's got a bald head or not? Well, he wasn't in the TV commercial I saw last night. Really? He's, yeah. got, he's, got, a, he's got hair up there. Tom. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Paul Anka does have hair. He is an international sex symbol. He's going to be playing tonight through the weekend at Starlight Musicals. I'm yeah, having his baby. You are? Mm hmm Didn't you know that? No, I didn't. Yeah, Paul Anka and I go way back. Oh, no kidding. Tom, do you have that? You know, Christy's taller than Paul Anka. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I like it. What him. a great relationship. Huh? <laughs> There's Paul Anka going to the bank again. Mm -hmm. Ladies and gentlemen. He wrote the, uh, he wrote the uh, uh, Tonight Show theme, of course. And uh, along with Johnny Carson, yeah, I understand just, he gets a substantial, beautiful song. It makes me want to weep. This is from, from 1974, that. of course. So, this Paul Anka on Q95. This yeah. is wonderful. Having my baby. <laughs> what a lovely way of saying <clears throat> So, you're having his baby, Christy? Oh, yes. What are you going to call it? Having my baby. Hank. Hank, 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 for a girl. <laughs> he's taking, he's taking all the caffeine out of his act, and he's going to call it the Paul Sanka show. There you know, you it's, it's real interesting. Uh, the baby's going to be named Boat Anka. <laughs> <laughs> Drop we the pulled. anchor. We pulled, but we got one, didn't we? You bet. I could feel it coming yeah. on. You you go you go way back with Paul. Mm -hmm. I was only ten. No, I'm just kidding. That's strictly a joke. Oh. A joke. Uh, a Roman joke. Polanski. In other words, yes. yeah, when you were ten, you were, you probably idolized. Paul I think that's Actually, what you meant to 10, say. I was 10, I didn't even know who Paul Anka was. Oh, okay. <laughs> Christy, remember, you've never made love because you're not married. Okay, thank you. You know, we like to have, <laughs> we like to have our show be a pinnacle. That's of right. Squeaky clean. It's squeaky clean and it's morally sound. It was an immaculate conception. Do you, mm. Did you ever talk about <clears throat> on the air? Did I ever talk about what? The fact that you, on the air, is that verboten? Uh, no, you guys have already mentioned it, haven't you? I don't mentioned, think so. Well, Chick ahead. has. No, Chick no. Has. no. No, about me being married before? Yeah. Yeah, oh. we've talked about that. Well, then it's okay for her to talk about doing it because she's already been married. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Christy, when the guy's on top... No, no I'm just kidding. <laughs> 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 
He also <laughs> fell and said there's a new Disney film that's been released. Really? Oh, yeah, and of course you know the tremendous success of Who Framed Roger Rabbit. Mm -hmm. right. In this uh, exciting sequel, the rabbit is actually missing. It's a new film called Who Ate Roger Rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> it's a story of some beef, st of, of some uh, like rabbit stew uh, ranchers. Oh, Dick. no. Uh, we've it's just awful. about reached our target time. We need your you pick? to make your pick for the Colts game this weekend. Well, the Colts are going to beat Green Bay. Uh, mm -hmm. Green Bay is in a... They're in a tiz, I think. Their, really? their quarterback situation is, is pretty rough. Score. Uh, the, Col the Colts will uh, beat the uh, Packers. They'll beat them by 13 points. 13 at home. Bob. Uh, that's a good pick. I'll go with 14 points. Uh, I'm with Mr. Nixon. 13. Christy? Uh, Colts by 7. Tom? Tom writes down exhibition. Who cares? <laughs> Football is bull <laughs> pucky. <laughs> Almost got you, didn't Thank it? you. Tom, don't sugarcoat it. I want you to let me really know how you feel about exhibition football. Take the gloves off. Tom, will Tom. you be missing the game? Is that what you're basically trying to say? I don't know. Let me get down there. <clears throat> oh, Mr. Ambivalent, okay? Not everybody in this city can afford season tickets. You have the luxury of being able to have an income that affords you certain privileges. I no, say one of those privileges is purchasing season tickets. Now, I say we give Tom's tickets away on the air right now. When the yeah. season there begins. 239-1095. <laughs> no. Yeah, let's do it. If that's the way you feel. When the season begins, I will certainly be at all the games. I will probably go. Okay, weekend. now Bob is coming back to attend the game. Why? Because Bob is a loyal cult supporter. Bob's also grateful that his life has turned in such a way that he's able to afford season tickets. Not everybody can afford them, Tom, okay? Yeah, I'd like to argue this point with you, but if we keep arguing, we will miss our target time and we will be in for a severe thrashing. <laughs> <laughs> Dick. We, we, have approximately, we have approximately 45 seconds. I have better things to do to sit in that office today and get reamed. Yeah, I don't want to get a severe tongue lashing. <laughs> Dick, well, would you like a tongue lashing, Christy? Say, Dick, uh, would you be kind enough to introduce <laughs> you set him up? Christy, it's been a while since you've had a good tongue lashing, hasn't it? Dick, and you'll be getting the wrong kind this weekend. Oh, wow. Dick, would you be kind enough to introduce this first artist, please? Sure, who is it? It's Jimmy Barnes. On WFBQ Indianapolis, Q95.